Hello and welcome to a Husky Trails Trail Encounter episode. Laika and I were out mushing the other day when she picked up a blood trail. Turns out it was a squirrel that was stuck in a tree. It had a neck wound and I figured that it had probably had a run-in with a coyote or an off-leash dog and had fled into this tree. So I thought I'd try to take it back with me, get it to a vet and taken care of. Sounds like a good idea, right? Well, turns out there was more to it than that. So here you can see how Laika is picking up the blood trail and is following it right to the tree where the squirrel is stuck. I actually had to cut away at some thorn bushes because it was tangled up pretty bad. I managed to get it out, but sadly, as I loaded it on my sled, it died in my arms. And while I was still wondering what to do with it now, this little guy shows up. So this is a stoat. It's part of the mustelid family, which also includes animals like weasels, ferrets, martens, otters, and bigger ones like badgers and wolverines. Stoats are a little bit smaller than ferrets, and while they do eat smaller things like mice, insects, small birds, and bird eggs, they also kill and eat animals that are significantly larger than themselves, like rabbits and squirrels. What they can't immediately eat, they will store around their den for later. So while they look really cute, they are quite fierce predators. This tiny fellow was strong enough to kill a squirrel about twice its size and then drag it all the way into its tree. What I didn't know then was that when I came across this scene, I basically interrupted this guy's meal. And you can see in the video how he keeps circling around us, not letting his prey out of his sight. I ended up laying the squirrel down at the side of the trail and as soon as Laika and I were out of sight, the stoat ran over and dragged the squirrel back into his tree. I didn't really know anything about stoats before this encounter. I had always just assumed that their diet consisted of insects and small rodents. But after reading up on them and reviewing my video footage, I thought it was important to point out that while our first instinct might be to help an animal in distress, it is equally important to consider the larger picture of the food chain before interfering. If I had taken this squirrel with me, I would have robbed this little stoat of his prey and his food source for several days. So as sorry as I felt for the squirrel, I'm glad I left it there. Happy trails to you guys and always be aware of and curious about your surroundings. <laughs>